Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to turn your laptop into a secondary monitor or a tablet or anything like that, but mostly your laptop. So let's get started. I did a similar video a couple of months ago about turning your Android device into a secondary monitor. We're basically going to be revisiting that again, but this time we're going to be using our laptop screens. Now I know a bunch of you are probably working from home by now, so having a second screen is very important. If you or you know a friend that needs a secondary monitor like the way I'm setting it up, please don't hesitate to share this video. Let's begin. So I'm on my Linux desktop and I don't have a Windows machine. So I'm just going to spin one up real quick using QEMU and basically get that to a working state. We finally have Windows 10 installed and this is a Windows program itself. But again, most of you who are probably working from home are using a Windows device. So this should work in your favor. Now to start off, we have to go to this website called Space Desk. So spacedesk.net and we're gonna have to download this software and it's completely free. Now, I've actually tested about four applications while making this video or planning this video and they all either didn't work or they were really overpriced for what it was. Maybe I'll leave a link down in the description to the other ones I've tested. Anyway, now that you downloaded this, you just hit run and it's gonna install. It's gonna install like a network driver or video driver, which is perfect. We just need to do that. Add exception to firewall, install, yes and i'm going to let that go through once this is installed you're going to get a little green icon on the bottom right so let's finish that and here you go this little green icon actually gives you the ip address of your machine that you need to connect to now what makes this amazing is that you can actually download this program for your windows machine or android or anything like that um, iphone ipad but this actually offers a HTML5 viewer. So that means any device, even your old Blackberry could get connected to this. So what I'm gonna be doing is hopping on my other Linux laptop and I'm gonna punch in the website for this HTML5 viewer. Okay, so on your other machine, whether being a laptop or a tablet or whatever it is, you actually have to navigate to spacedesk.ph slash HTML5 viewer or you could just click on this link, you know, navigate to this website, spacebest.net, and then click on the go to HTML5 viewer. It's the same link. In there, it's gonna ask you to put in an uh, IP address right over here, which is the same as what it would offer over here. And then you can just actually go over and hit connect. And as soon as you hit connect, that's it. Now I got my second screen. And what I mean by second screen, look, if I was to drag this over, it's actually gonna bring it over to that screen like a second monitor. So if you have an Excel sheet or something like that, emails, this will work great. It's not as good for video or anything because it's not fast enough, especially when I'm on Wi-Fi on my laptop, but you could do what you need to do on a secondary screen for those of you who need it. Now, if you hit escape, it'll actually drop you down to the menu and you could set different settings over here. You can go into settings, and change the uh, compression rate. So if you have a slow internet, you might wanna lower this for faster speed and also remote control. Now, the, I usually disable this, but you can actually control the mouse off this computer from your other machine. So if I was to drag this window around, it's a little sensitive, but I could drag this window around and yeah, it's, it's connected. And if you need to set the resolution, just go back to your main screen and go to display settings it's actually gonna come up as a second monitor. And over here, I could just adjust the resolution to you know whatever it's supposed to be or whatever I can make it. And you'll have a different resolution. So that's basically as simple as that as far as getting two screens connected. You could get up to like five or six screens if you have multiple devices. And yeah, I mean, for those of you who are working at home, if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. Uh, if you guys are working from home, please stay safe. My upload schedule is gonna vary for the next couple of weeks because my son's actually out of school for, you know, this whole thing. And because of that, I'm actually homeschooling him as well as trying to work myself. So whenever I get a chance to upload or make a video, I will be. So the schedule might fluctuate a little bit for the next couple of weeks. Anyway, if you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say, my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.